Are you cold? I know. Oh my God, I'm freezing. I had to change my shoes because my other ones got wet. <laughs> Shoe. Holy heck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's record a video without recording a video. Who's done that? You have to hit the record button. Yeah. And you have to put the microphone up. Yes, you have or to have a microphone. Make sure your husband's put the microphone up. Yeah. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm doing back to back to back videos. Um, we had an amazing, amazing weekend sourcing. It was, y'all, it was amazing. Lots of vintage plush, which is my first love. So I've got a lot to share with you. We stopped, I saw pictures. Well, what caught my attention were there were totes and totes of Christmas stuff. And there were some vintage Christmas blow molds. So we went there. It was probably our second stop, right? At this, yesterday. It. We drove by one that hadn't opened yet and we stopped at... One that we had already been to that they had said they were going to get more stuff out, but they didn't really. Um, and then we went to this one. The blow modes were gone already, which that's probably a good thing because I'm having a heck of a time getting my blow modes listed. But I don't remember seeing totes and totes of vintage plush. Again, I don't think people give credit enough to vintage plush. When people are looking through pictures, people like me, who that's what I'm searching for, she had totes, probably six or eight full of plush. Now, I started digging through them, and she said they were like 50 cents each. And so I'm making, and I'm just ending up taking entire totes and setting them to the side. And Robert looked at her and goes, how much for all of it? Without me even finishing looking through it, so I don't know what's in some of these totes. She said $15. So, I said, sold. Robert started loading them up, and that was the beginning of filling up our vehicle. And then I started going through. She had the totes, just like $5 for a tote. And a lot of it wasn't stuff I was really interested in. It was like the Easter egg stuff and um, like fall leaves. Just, But I did end up picking up one Christmas thing and one other thing I'll show you. But let's get to the plush. Look at this. Love these. They're called Hoppy Hopsters Rabbits. Now, the tag on this one is TB Trading Company, but they are also dandy. There was a time, even just up till last year, these were selling for $60, $80, $90. But I checked comps yesterday after we had left there. And people are selling them for $20, $30, $40. I'm going to list mine high. They're adorable. They're large. Look, they have these embroidered feet. But, look, one, two, look at those feet. Look at that rabbit. But, look, three of them. Three. I'll probably list $69.95 for each one. Who knows? At the last second, I might raise it. I might lower it. I'm not sure, but look at these. I was thrilled. All right, and then some more. I'm going to show you a lot of plush. Well, two totes. Yeah, two totes. Vintage Walmart. Probably $15 to $20. They do have, look, the original price, $4.97. That tells you age, because there ain't nothing that cheap now. This, I don't remember. A part of me thought these were like Discovery Toys, but I don't know. It needs a bath. But listen, very cute. I think some of this is dog toys, but this is definitely vintage looking. I'll probably sell these together. I don't, unless it says pet on the tag, I kind of will usually steer away from saying a pet toy because I don't know, you know, I don't know. But there are some Aspen pet um, stuffed animals in here and I do really well with that brand. 
But I, and there were definitely some uh, chew toys. Yes, there were some chew boxes. toys. And yeah, I'm fine with that. Look, vintage Walmart. Love it. Most of these are probably either $19.95 or $24.95 unless I find cards on them. But usually I'm the only one who has a lot of this listed. I dropped something there. Sorry. It's kind of loud and clangy. So What was it? The golf club that oh. I picked up. Oh. I don't know. It says I love you on it. There is no tag. A part of me thinks like maybe it goes with the book. That's what it makes me think of, that it's a character like a scholastic book or something. I don't know, though. It's got kind of one of the, like, Fiesta has that kind of cloth-like tag. Oh, I see a treasure that I didn't know. Okay. Okay, this, I think, was supposed to make noise. Gotha. I don't think it's working. I'll probably still list 8 to 12. Look, this is going to get cleaned and go on my wall, y'all. These are called Cozy Bears, I think. But they're the thermal waffle weave type fabric. Look, it's got some stains that I'll work on. It's got the vintage Fisher-Price tag. Look at his tail. A little stained. But I'm thrilled. He's going to go up there next to my pony. Right there. Cute, cute, cute. I didn't even know that was in there. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is Puff Puff. I've just sold him recently. I want to say it was like $20 to $30. But my memory shot, so. But look how cute. I must have not looked through this one. It was just one. Oh, this is definitely a dog toy. It's got like rope legs. But it's vintage. You can tell. Oh, another one of those. There's some more totes still out in the car. And there were several of these. It says nothing. V.O. Toys, Inc. It's got a squeak. More than likely, it was originally made as a dog toy, but I just think it's adorable. I'm thinking $20, $25, and I think I have more than that. Would they really put a thing like this on a dog toy? Oh, maybe not. We'll take that part out when you, you do better, the video. Yeah, it's going to be... I don't know, you probably should just redo right. it. <clears throat> Look at this. There's more totes out in the car. We just don't have the space for it in here. As soon as I get this stuff processed this week, I'll get more out. It says VO Toys. It's got the little hanging string. But look, I'm think I gotta get these listed quickly. Um, I'm hoping twenty twenty five dollars for it. Some of these I don't even know. This seems familiar. Like I might have this already. It is Bloomer Bunny American Greetings 1989. A lot of the American Greetings stuff I find is usually bread and butter. So I, I'm going to say 8 to 12. Battery. Battery. All right. This Storytelling Santa. Sound and light animatronics. 50, 50, 60, 40, somewhere in there that it's actually going to work. Because when I pressed his hand, he didn't. But very, very cute. I, I think maybe I could get him to fit in a large priority box. This is, yeah, a little bent right there. Maybe, I don't know. We could hope 40 for it. If this was down in that box of plush. But look, it's Radio Flyer. Little ornament. Pro I don't know if it's old. I don't think it's old. Made in China. Probably maybe eight dollars. I showed you that. Um. Oh wait, this ain't it, is it? No. It's Tigger. This is a Tigger. We found an American Greetings jacket, but this is the Tigger. How cute! It looks older. Disney has a real tag. 
Do not dry clean. I just thought it was very cute. Very large, too. Fits. Oh, one size fits all. One size fits all does not fit me. But there we go. What did we paid? A dollar. A dollar and... I want to say 15. Yeah, he's better about chicken comps than me. I just buy. It's because you berate me so badly when I get something that's not worth very much. You don't do that actually very often anymore. But we will always remember the fedora hat that he paid three bucks for. No, four bucks for, and it was worth three. Look how cute. This is vintage Walmart with its tag. Let's see, how much was this one? $7.97. I'm hoping, I don't know, $25, $30 for it. And another huge plush. This is when my 16 by 12 by 8, I think is the box that I buy from eBay Supplies, comes in. Because I can smudge it, but it, I don't want to squish it so much to squeeze it into a large priority. This is TB Trading Company. This is nylon. I think it's supposed to be attached, but it's not. But that's probably something I can fix pretty easily. Just reattach it right. I'm hoping 25 again for it. <laughs> Obvious pet toy. Doesn't say anything. Heads and Tails by Gund. Love it. Vintage. You can just tell. Walmart. Yeah. $7.97. I don't know. I'm, again, $20, $25 for it. These must have all been bought at the same time. Because this is, again, Walmart with the original $7.97. But look how cute. I'm looking forward to getting all these listed. Stocked up for Easter, right? Mm-hmm. Jaff marketing. Just cute. Definitely vintage looking. This is adorable. I love these eyes. Anytime I find a plush with these eyes, I just, you can just tell. And these are Walmart. Probably 2025. This. What is this? It says American Toy and no Novelty Company. Ooh, it's oh, it's been signed Easter of 1988. Aww, just love it. Look, it's that hard carnival style plush. I'm still hoping. Maybe 15 to 20 for it. Another Fairview, right? No, Fordlet. Fairview and Fordlet look very similar, and their tags are like this. Just kind of a cloth. Look how cute. Probably 15 or so for it. I'm going to have to figure out how best to clean this. Because, look, it's got... A basket but it's attached it probably because I don't have an agitator it will probably be okay in the washing machine because I'm gonna have to do something it's just like where it has sat for a very long time but it says creations from TL toys I'll probably list this probably 25 to 30 also once I get it clean Fingers crossed I don't damage it. Which happens. This looks like Gerber. Or not. Nope. It says Dandy Imports. 1978. Look how cute. I'm trying to see. If I had more, I would like put them together. Probably will be either $9.95 or $12.95. This just says nothing. Made in China. Definitely vintage. It's got the little hanging thing. What are these? It's a duck. Pet? No. Maybe. A chick. 
That's a chicken. No. Really? I don't know. Probably duck. Probably. Twelve to fifteen dollars. Yeah, the beak is wide. I don't normally buy these, but it was a bulk deal. These are craft bears. A lot of times they'll be dressed up and have glue stuff and outfits and everything. This will probably go in my donate pile, to be honest. I just don't. They're just. I just don't care for them. Famous. You don't hear me say that very much, but I don't care for those bears. This says Bunny Jr. Dandy Imports. Look how cute. It's got an embroidered belly. Let me see what it's stuffed with. All new materials. Shredded clippings. Don't wash them when they say shredded clippings because literally I think that's paper and it feels paper. So this will get a good wipe with a wipe and I'll just say leaving all cleaning to buyer if I determine that it's not as clean as I would like it to be. I picked these up at a yard sale. This is all I bought there. $2 for him and $1 but they're gunned and they have their paper tags. His name is... Slacker, and let's see if he's got a name. Just Poodle. So, you know, probably bread and butter made. Th this is probably 8 to 12. He might be a little more. But there's a few gunned bears that do quite well. I just can't remember which ones they are. I bought this tote. It had $5 on it. It's from the same yard sale that I bought all the plush at. But when I opened it up, it just intrigued me. So I thought, I'm going to grab them. All right. It looks like there's, I don't know, several, four, five, six of these. But look how cute. Stocking holders, very heavy. It says Walmart, but look, her little wings come off. But I have a feeling I can just glue it back on. Or I'll just take a picture like this and... You know, let the repair be done by the next person who buys it. Which is probably what I'll do. Because you just never know what kind of repair you're going to get. Look, Santa. Very, very cute. Look. A snowman. Same manufacturer. They're all identical. Well, of the same type. And look. A little moose. Let the pull out. Look, cuddle wit. How adorable. Little tree ornament. I've got three. Let's see. I can't tell. Oh, Oriental Trading Company. But you know what? I just sold finger puppets from Oriental Trading Company. So more than likely, I'll do like $9.95 or $12.95 for the three of them. All right, and then look. These stockings, now they're just kind of flimsy, but you can tell they're older. I'm trying to see, no manufacturer. They're Walmart though, because the code on there has a WM. But look, one, are they all the, no, here's another dog, but look. Then I've got a snowman, Santa, and another dog. I'm hoping, like, at least maybe $9.95 for each of them. They're cute. And somebody who's had a grandchild and their child had these type stockings from, I'm thinking probably the 70s, 80s for these. You know, it'll add to a collection. All right, and then my friend Jan gave us some plates. That's RJ's grandma. RJ's grandma. These are Pottery Barn Versailles. Very cute. There's six of them. Robert did the comps on them already. And how much were they going for? 12 or 14. Yeah, 12 or 14. I have found anything Pottery Barn or Pier 1 Imports seems to do really well, especially if it's a discontinued pattern. And then there's a whole set of these. This is the plates. They are false graph. It says 
Via della Luna, Via della Luna, 2004, and then there must have been artist names because it's Jana Coppin, Mary Tigreen. But there's a set of the plates, probably five or six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, seven, eight of these. Did you do comps on these? I'd say around 10, 10 or 12. 10, 12 each. And there were some bowls and cups in the, with that set. Yep. Very cute. Look how cute. That's the coffee cups pedestal that go with it. If we didn't still have boys, we could keep this for ourselves. Yeah. We're down to three forks. Of the big ones. Of I like the big use. forks in our house. No, no, we're down to two. Okay. We had three left last week. I know we've had this conversation in a previous video, but we're down to three large forks out of a 12-piece play setting. They are terrible. Well, and then the bowls. Very, very sweet of you, Jan. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then Robert picked this up. You paid? $3. $3. This is like one of my first videos. Remember that one thing you bought? It ended up being worth a lot of money, but it's one of... It's a bulwarker. <laughs> it's, the, <I> it's the <laughs> X5. My dad had like the original one of these when yeah. I was young, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then when I looked it up, it's worth 40 or $50, and they only wanted three for it. I had to get it. But what's going to be the issue with this? Shipping. It can't be shipped USPS. It's going to end up going probably um, UPS, because we don't do FedEx. It could be USPS. You're just going to incur that $15 penalty for yeah. or surcharge. It's yeah. not a penalty. It's a surcharge. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. They just don't want large packages anymore. But more than likely, I will just um, pack this in something for UPS just to make it probably at least um, competitive as far as shipping prices. One more thing. Just because. I didn't know they made Dansko sandals. Look, two dollars for them, but they're my size. So they're your shoes. They're my shoes. I just thought that was cute. Very nice. My whole closet is full of finds that I decide I want. Except the problem is, is I never wear them. Never. Are we done? We're done. I gotta right. go edit video to get it out tonight. Yep. All right. Let's get, now I really have a lot of work. This is my third video today. We're and not allowed piles. to record any more videos until this stuff gets out I of know. my way. There's no room. There's no room for anything else back here. All right, bye. If you've made it this far into the video, we have audio only bonus footage of Rebel digging through one of the totes while I changed the battery in the camera. Oh, well, the camera just closed. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, no, none of that was there. Or that last sentence. Well, and that's it. You better be quick. Nope. 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 I think this is a dog. Oh, there's a spider in there! <laughs>